uh, Solaris you can see behind me. They're the earliest variety that we have. We've currently got this electric fence. This is a, the workings of a so solar electric fence which um, keeps the badgers and the foxes away. So in order to do this sample, do this test of the sugar and acid, we're going to try to get a representative sample of the plot of vines which you can see behind me, which is 500 Solaris vines and they're about 11 years old now and to get this sample what we're going to have to do is to try and walk diagonally through this plot of vines and we're going to select a few berries from several bunches we're going to select some berries from the front of the bunch perhaps that are in the sunlight some berries from the back of the bunch that haven't seen any sun much we're going to select some from down low and we're going to select some from up high, some small ones, some big ones. We're going to just try and get a representative sample and we're going to get about half a jam jar full. And then we're going to uh, squash them down in this little press and then with this we're going to test the acidity and with this digital hydrometer digital refractometer I should say we are going to test the sugar level and where then we can compare with other years we're now on the uh, what is it 9th of September and so we can compare then with other years and then we'll know whether we're early this year average or late so let's get going so we take this jar and we're going to try and get a representative half a jar of grape. So, the botrytis starting now. So I just take, we like to take like part bunches. So I've got like four grapes there, put them in. And I'm going to head diagonally. So we're heading up this way and a few big ones take a sample of those pop them in and over here about every post we'll try and take a few you see so I'm going to take some from low down here now three four there we are pop them in and try and find a place where we can duck under, which there is here. Even pick. You know, we can, they'll probably get discarded when we come to pick. So I'm not going to take those. They're very underripe, not at all representative of any of them. So let's take some, say from up here, the back of this bunch here. Just hold it so I don't pull the whole bunch off. There we are, they're going in, two, three, four rows, and we've got about that much. We've got to get up to about here, so we're okay. Take a few more from here. Let's give a bunch, there's some with different sizes here. Look, there's three big ones, a couple of little ones. Pop them in, and where should we go through? Go through here. And then over here, we can go, where are we at now? We'll take some from low down. There's some there. We haven't had much sun because it's behind a leaf. Let's try a few of those. Four, pop them in. All right, we've got to find them. Uh, put them in. This is a little device which um, is dry. If I'd just done a sample and washed it out, I would have to dry it out uh, with a tea towel. Uh, the other thing is, of course, um, we did the sample, we took the sample in dry conditions. If you ever have to take a sample in wet conditions with a lot of dew on the grapes or in rain, for example, uh, then you've got to 
get a couple of tea towels and 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 dry the dry the moisture off the um, off the grapes. Right, there's our sample. Put that in there. Give that a good squash, and then change the position of it just like it would be if it was in our grape press. Change the position. Squash it some more. Got to try and press it more or less to the same degree that uh, it would get pressed in our grape press. There we are. That's pretty much done. Right now, so first thing we can do perhaps is to test the uh, sugar. So we put a wee drop onto this little glass ball there and then we press on off to turn it on. That gives the temperature, must, must have been in the sun, it's saying 30 degrees, I can't believe it's 30 degrees. The air temperature today is about 23, 4 so maybe we had that in the sun. But anyway, this refractor meter does do automatic temperature adjustment. So the temperature shouldn't really affect the accuracy of the reading. So then we press MES for measure. And this is a, a called a Tetravin test tube. And it's got different tests. The red scale is for the uh, total acidity which is the one I want to use now. If we're testing uh, SO2, sulfur dioxide, then we would use the yellow scale. So we're going to look at the the red scale and I need to fill in my freshly pressed juice up to the zero mark and then add this uh, indicator solution uh, which and then at the point where it goes green that will tell us what the acidity is in that juice that we've just pressed so let's get the um, the juice in there so I'm trying to get it up to zero I'm not to overshoot because I haven't brought a pipette with me. Zero mark. So now I'm going to. This is a good way to hold it is uh, with your hand like that and use your thumb as a stopper because I'm going to add it in small amounts and then we'll see. But it's bound to be more than seven, so I'm going to go up to more than seven and then we'll see. So that's seven, so I'm going to mix that now. Now I can go a little more slowly. About one at a time. So that's almost eight. We pick the grapes when this is about eight or nine, so at the moment I'd expect it to be in the low teens, something like that. But being the first one of the year, you don't quite know what you're going to get. It's, it's almost... It takes a bit more twisting up and down when, you, when the tube is nearly full. So that's almost at the end point. Let's just see what we can add a bit more. That's, that is the end point then. If you overshoot it uh, then you, you could do another reading that's fractionally, well it's pretty much green, it's starting to go into blue so it's and that is currently reading 12 so it might be 11 and 3 quarters true reading somewhere between 
11 and a half and 12 anyway it's not more than 12 because it, it's almost starting to go in, into a blue so that's the acidity so now we've just got to see if we can do this I'll just what's it saying 67 67 so divide that by 8 so it's almost 8% natural alcohol as it is at the moment but it's got a little way more to go yet but that's approximately where we would expect it to be for this you know 9th of September so there we are representative sample squashed down tested for sugar and acid